Hi there folks and welcome back to another tip for Microsoft Excel. Today we're going to be looking at a different option for you to build your own timesheet. So a timesheet would be used to help the hours worked or to keep track of maybe a contractor or a contract position or something informal. You, you wouldn't use this for like an entire organization. Well, you could use a timesheet, but we would build a little bit differently. This is gonna be for managing the time of an individual. So let's get started here. And the first thing we wanna do is create a row that we can always see. We don't want anything disappearing. So to do that, we're gonna just freeze the cell, make it stand out a little bit, give it some information. And so we're gonna say date worked. We're gonna say time in, and we're gonna say time out. Not the kind of time out where you gotta sit in the corner, just a time when you get off work and you go and rest. And so our next one is gonna be total hours worked. And then we're gonna create one more and we're gonna say gross pay. Even though it's not gross to ever get paid, um, the gross pay is simply the total amount. Now we're gonna need a few pieces of data here, and so we're gonna just create a box over here that says hourly rate, and we'll keep with the beautiful format here, and we're gonna Make that one yellow also. And just put a nice little border on it. And then we're gonna format this in a dollar. And we'll say that the hourly rate is $35. Okay. And let's say that just for kicks you want a additional information column. Just so you know what it is the person's working on. So we're gonna open that up a little bit and we'll format it by wrapping the text so that they can put in as much information as they need and it won't get all crazy. So now we got everything formatted and we're gonna go ahead and put a border here real quick and then we're going to also format this and we'll just click on the entire column A, right click, go to format cells and we're gonna come right over here to date and let's say we use this one here. We want the day, the month, the date, and the year. And so let's say that we were creating a time log for May 4th, 2017. And of course we want to format these two. And so we highlight both of them. And we're gonna come over here to time. We're just gonna give it a basic 1.30 p.m. type format. And so what that's gonna do is, let's say we clock in at 7 a.m. And we get off on this day at 5 p.m. Well, that's gonna give us our time format in this entire column. And this is formatted for date. So this entire column is gonna populate just like this. In fact, if we drag down, we go to the fifth, and let's say we drag down, we go to the sixth, okay? So hopefully we're not working on Saturdays like this shows here, but you'll see that the formatting makes it a lot cleaner and simpler to do. So now to calculate the hours worked, we need to add a formula in Excel so that it automatically populates based on the time in and time out. And to do that, what we do is we put in our equal sign and we're gonna do an open bracket and we are going to always select the time out first and then we'll subtract that from the time in. Now we're gonna close that and we'll hit enter and oh, shows up 10 a.m. Why does it do that? Well, it's because we didn't format this. So what we wanna do is grab the entire column. You see in the background of time is actually a number in Excel and we're, we're about to see that here in just a second. The way we format is we right click again, 
We go to format cells and we're just going to put a general formatting on there. Now we see that we get a 0.4167, which as you can tell is not the hours worked. So why does Excel do that? Well, Excel does that because when we work with times here, this is calculating based on a 24 hour time period. The way we correct that is we come up here and we simply multiply by 24 and we'll close that off and we see that we work 10 hours on this day. Now what we want to do even more specifically is we want to copy this formula that we just built and then we want to come up here and select column D. Now we want to right click and you'll see that there's a quite a few different paste options here. So the one that we're actually going to look for is not the values. We don't want that. What we want is the formulas that are right here. You also have an option for formatting, uh, for links, but what we, what we want to paste in there is the formula in the entire column. So we're going to select on that. You see Excel is going to do its thing. And now if we come over here on Friday, May 5th, 2017, let's say we we're working really hard this day and we came in at 6.30 a.m. And we got off at, let's say, 6 p.m. We'll now see that we put in 11 and a half hours of work on this day. And Excel will automatically calculate that all the way down in this column. So we obviously don't want this to have the formula in it. The way we take care of that is we're just simply going to delete it out of this one box. And we're going to say total hours worked. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and keep this nice and pretty also. And in the center. So we got our total hours work. Next thing we need to do is calculate our gross pay. This is how much money we're going to make for each individual day. Now the way that we'll do that is we're first going to format this in money. And then we'll give this a, another unique shade just so that people know it's automated and they don't need to touch it. And we're going to hit our equal sign, okay? And first things first, we're going to select cell H4 and we're going to multiply that by hitting the star sign by the total hours worked, which was D4. Now we wanna make sure that we lock this hourly rate so that when we copy it down, it doesn't, um, it doesn't change the number. It's gonna always stay with that $35 or whatever's in the hourly rate box. The way we lock it again is by hitting F4. And then we're just gonna hit enter. And we'll see that on this day, we made $350. So we're just going to copy that and we're going to select column E like we did with column D and we're going to right click and we're going to go ahead and paste in the formula. You'll see Excel's doing its whole thing and it's going to take a little bit of time because it's sending it down to every one of the cells. And when we get done here, when we get all done, we're just going to change this top one and it'll say uh, gross pay. And so now we can see that as we put in our times, let's say 8 p.m. because it's Saturday here, or 8 a.m., excuse me, um, to 10 a.m. We put in two hours, we made 70 bucks there. Now, we'd also like a column that tells us how much is due to us. We wanna know how much we've gotta pay. And so total pay, sorry, let's call that gross pay. Let's use official uh, accounting terms here. 
and we're going to highlight that yellow just give ourselves a little box there and now we've got our hourly rate which is $35 an hour and we've got our gross pay which is going to be the sum of all each day and so to do that we hit sum open bracket and we're just going to select this entire column and then we're going to close it out and we see that we have 822.50 now let's say we come back in on uh, well let's say the 8th we worked pretty hard and so took a couple days off so it's Monday Monday the 8th now and we're ready to go at it again we came in at 7 a.m. and we got off at 5 p.m. just a normal normal day at work now you'll see that your gross pay over here automatically populates based on your total for the day and of course if you want any additional information you can just place it right in there and each time you come in you just put the hours you worked in and it'll automatically populate the information you needed okay and that's the timesheet in Excel a pretty simple way to manage um, contracts or or one person's hours worked and the gross pay that you owe to them so hopefully this solution will help you today we learned about how to calculate the total hours worked and how to calculate the gross pay in Microsoft Excel Subscribe to the station down below and we'll keep giving you tips for Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. And remember, if you have any questions below or you're looking for a solution in any of those three applications from Microsoft, go ahead and post your questions down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.